This feels weird. It's MP and myself with backpack on the road for a keynote. Physical, the physically, physically, like in Berlin. And we gotta hit the road because they will wait for us. But we do a vlog on the go in another town in Hamburg. You know how long this is ago? I don't know actually. Too long. We did it in New York, in Amsterdam, in I don't know, like Munich, wherever. You should check out many of the other videos. But now we can hit the road. I'm excited. was the last ride for an official vlog in Berlin and um, this time it's quite exciting new keynote storyline for a client of ours with people in a hotel real people meeting real people um, we won't have the time to go to our office because there are some meetings around that and a workshop tomorrow but in two weeks from now we will have a look at our Berlin office which we I think never shared on YouTube yet. It's nice. It's the AI campus. We are there with a large partner company. They built the, the campus. That's our lab. Berlin lab. Fancy fancy name. It's actually co-working but since it's the AI space a lot of other companies working there and we brainstormed on the way about some new YouTube topics because MP said YouTube isn't dead. Definitely not. With a new style of video, more animations, more deep dive. But if we want to do more deep dive animated videos, why are we doing a vlog right now? <laughs> because we always love the format of a vlog, because it's easy, it's on the go, ideas come and, and, and flow, and usually we come up with an idea when we are at the location, meet the people, so it's just the intro with the vlog and then we the, the topic evolves out of the day which i think is a good thing that's why i love it and um, there are newer formats on youtube especially during the corona time very authentic formats because even people who had a tv studio would film at home so you could see how they live which makes it very close to them very authentic and a vlog is this kind of format by definition, very authentic format. So we're heading to Steigenberger Hotel um, at the Kanzleramt and um, we'll do the tech check. I don't have a laptop with me, which so I think is not a problem. Device? Nothing. Take one of the devices that are, that are there, hopefully. I know I said that now like three times. It's <laughs> we've been in Berlin before in the meantime. But sometimes you come back to certain places and you have a flashback. At least if you are my age, you have a flashback. <laughs> That's what MP said. So um, we've been here quite often for several events and I don't know. So there are a lot of memories here. MP, you and I, we have a lot of memories here connected. With. But this time we're here for the keynote. It's a new storyline, but not like all new content so what i have to make sure now is that the online presentation is working because they're they want to know where we are now should check it's just two hours left two hours i mean that's a long time we make a whole presentation in two hours let's see Look at this, feels like the old days.
Bei anderen Unternehmen haben wir die Frage gestellt, die anrufen und sagen, wir wollen bitte die E-Mail loswerden. Da stelle ich mir die Frage, warum denn eigentlich? Ja, es funktioniert bei uns nicht. Und dann gucken wir uns natürlich an, die wird gemailt und ganz schnell stellt man fest, das ist ein super Tool. Es wird falsch eingesetzt und deswegen ist der Teil von WeShape der entscheidendere Teil als die Tools. Wie formen wir die Werkzeuge? Und ich habe letzte Woche ein schönes Beispiel gehört, weil immer gefragt wird, was kommt denn als nächstes nach dem Smartphone? Kriege ich auch mal gerne so. Herr Magnus, erzählen Sie mal, was kommt als nächstes? Machen Sie doch mal ein YouTube-Video, was als nächstes kommt. Das sind super geklickte YouTube-Videos. The next big thing. Und dann so, also, geil, endlich 100.000 Aufrufe und keine Antwort auf die Frage. Das weiß doch keiner. Wer soll das denn wissen? Viel spannender ist die Frage, warum wir überhaupt diese Frage stellen und sagen, was kommt als nächstes? Haben wir jetzt denn schon Langeweile? Sind wir alle schon Profis mit Smartphones? Und in der Automobilindustrie gibt es den Spruch, die ersten 50 Jahre mussten wir herausfinden, wie sieht ein Auto überhaupt aus? Was braucht es überhaupt alles? Die zweiten 50 Jahre haben wir herausgefunden, was kann man mit einem Auto überhaupt Dolles anstellen? Drive-in bei McDonald's, Walmart, Vorstädte und, und, und. Die ganze große Innovation hinten dran, ich mache es natürlich bewusst ein bisschen sarkastisch, aber in Wirklichkeit die ganze große Innovation hinten dran, waren die zweiten 50 Jahre. Die Dienstleistungen drumherum. Viel spannender. Und das hat eben genau mit demselben Punkt zu tun. Das funktioniert nur, wenn wir uns im Detail damit auseinandersetzen. So part one was the keynote from yesterday evening. It's the next day now, but we're still in Berlin. And second part is a um, content workshop. You've seen that before. And some people ask, why do you do content workshops at Blackboard? But communication, a huge part of that is to transport messages that are emotional. And we see video as a format. So we teach our clients, even if they are clients from technical background, let's say we implemented a collaboration tool in video skills and we help them with the video skills, develop them internally and produce movies and I don't know, whatever they want to transport. And this is what we do today in one of Berlin's coolest buildings, I would say Gotham City is calling. Now back to Hamburg. Thank you for staying with us on the journey. Um, I can definitely feel how good it is to be back on the road and I think I said that repeatedly already but I think we should value how precious it is to meet other people and work together after this long corona time. Let's hit the road. Oh, subscribe. Watch another video. Turn off the notifications because I promote to turn off notifications. I don't turn them on but Watch from time to time what we're doing. Mm -hmm.